day two in a row. Second consecutive day of getting my, my miles in. This track is where we usually, oh, we come here and walk our dogs here quite often. And uh, when I was a kid, I think I've told a vlog this before, we used to have our track and field here. This was all a gravel track then, and they'd have to like lay the chalk down for the lines every time. Going for the five kilometer mark or three miles. I always stay in lane six, the outermost track, to make the most of the track. It's further to go here than it is to go around on the inside. Science. Britt did a lap here with me, with Wiener already. She's going back. Uh, she's gonna grab Big Frank. I'm gonna do a lap with him. Might meet up with her again on one of our laps. I wanna do this. I wanna, I wanna keep this up. So on the road this week, we're gonna have to figure out where we can do our walks and when would be the best time. I'm thinking probably in Wapton. Wapton, Wapton, North Dakota. I, I don't know how to pronounce that town name yet. I think it would be the best there because when I get back to Carmen, I'm gonna be tired. It's gonna be the end of my day. So I'm gonna load in Carmen in the morning and deliver my freight so that the job's done. Then I can go for my walk. Then it doesn't really matter what time I get back to Carmen as long as I'm there that evening, right? We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's pretty windy out here today. It's calming down a little bit, but it was a, it's been a windy day. Nice though. Not a bad windy, just a little bit, you know, just a little bit much windy. It's my new prescription shades though, eh? You like them? So I'm not walking overly fast. I'm not speed walking. I'm just, I'm walking with a purpose, you know? No stopping, no slowing down, a steady pace. Just a good, a good on purpose walk. Does that make sense? Did it. Hi guys. Chevy. You miss me? <laughs> Lines work nicely to get the pickup in here too. <laughs> Little bit dirty. After I washed the truck outside yesterday, inevitably when I backed it in, it took some of the dirt outside in here happens every time it's okay but yeah we're all set ready to go old blue is running we're gonna go grab a step deck trailer and head to carmen got to load first thing in the morning it's gonna be a busy week sad to leave home but at the same time i'm uh, excited to get it back on the road Had a week off, so it was a nice little unscheduled vacation. It's just the way it worked out. I was hoping to get going on Wednesday, but uh, it doesn't always work out that way. It's always best to get started first thing during the week when I'm on regional. This week will be busy. Just bobtailing right now. Got to go to the yard. Grab a trailer like I was telling you. And we'll take it from there. It's 7 o'clock p.m. right now, which is a lot later than I wanted to get going, but that's normal for me. We're still on schedule. Grab the trailer. As long as I'm there by about 9 p.m., that means 7 a.m. tomorrow I can start my day, and that's around the time they're going to open at my shipper. to stay there for 10 consecutive hours because I'm going to be crossing into the US tomorrow so I have to be legal on their hours of service which means 10 consecutive hours off before starting my day but at least I'll be there you know it'll save me a few hours tomorrow morning I don't have to get up to the crack of dawn even before dawn I can be there at the crack of dawn then if there's any delays they uh 
The delays come off today and not tomorrow. This is Mitchell, Manitoba that we're rolling through right now if you want to know where we are. Westbound, headed towards the setting sun. I see some police up ahead there. Somebody's getting a spanking. Now the law in Manitoba is we have to slow down to 60 kilometers an hour or about 40 miles an hour when you're passing any emergency vehicles on the side of the road like this. Because if you don't, he can whip around, chase you down, give you a nice little ticket. just like a school bus would if there's a median between you and where he's pulled if he's got someone pulled over on the other side of the road and there's a median between you guys you don't have to slow down then but on a two-lane road like this if he's on this side or that side you have to slow down to 60 kilometers an hour and obviously if he were on this side and this was a four-lane divided highway you would have to by law move over for the police officer or the fire department or the ambulance or tow trucks Remember this, that law applies to tow trucks as well. If you see a tow truck on the side of the road, you also have to slow down to 60 kilometers an hour and move over if possible by law. It's a pretty big ticket if you don't. I mean, it's just common courtesy, but it's sad that we have to enforce it with, you know, monetary penalties for not being kind. Well, everybody, I'm back in the truck. I'm here at Carmen and I'm ready to be loaded in the morning. There's another one of our trucks here. You may have remembered him from the past. Uh, his name is Pedro. His Instagram, I almost said YouTube. His Instagram account is T680. Uh, you can find him on my, my Instagram anyways. Uh, he was in my video a couple weeks ago. Oh, excuse me, I am ready for bed. It's late. But uh, looks like he's loading here in the morning too. We're probably going to the same place. So, uh, hopefully we can get some good collaboration, some good content made together this week. It'll be a lot of fun. I don't know if he's going back and forth like me all week. I don't even know if I'm really going to end up doing that. I hope so. I really hope that, because that's my plan. Do one load per day, right? Five loads this week. I, I hope we stick to that. But, you know, trucking, things change. Right now, I know I'm loading here in the morning, and that's, that's all I know. So, thanks for following along, everybody. I really do appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the share button if you like it. Your friends might like it too. And uh, go down below into the description of the video. And there's a whole bunch of info down there of how you can find me in other places on the internet. I'm all over the place. Man. I am I am with it. As long as they don't change what it is, I will stay with it. <sighs> the problem is they keep changing what it is. That's a quote from The Simpsons. Grandpa Simpson. I used to be with it, and then they changed what it was. <laughs> and it'll happen to you! Uh, anyways, have a good night, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna end this on a Simpsons quote. <sighs> See you tomorrow.